This is a simulation of a warehouse safety area we have built on our Second Life Island using gamification principles. The students navigate and interact with objects in the virtual world using their keyboard and mouse, much like how you would in a role-playing video game. The purpose of the simulation is to identify safety hazards simulated throughout the virtual warehouse environment. The students log into the Second Life Island with their avatar and enter the area either from the bottom of the building or from a link sent from their instructor. The instructor then tells them to locate as many hazards as they can in the area. We have found that this area works especially well as a competition amongst students to shout out their findings openly so that others can learn as they go. Students may walk up to an object or focus on it from a distance to examine them closer. During the simulation, the students have the opportunity to learn from their peers and instructor in what they are interacting with in the area. The examples of safety hazards range from the obvious, such as the lack of safety signage in a given area, as well as this chemical spill, to detailed, like this pallet that is placed crooked on the shelf, or these steps that are misaligned creating a tripping hazard. Students have even helped us to identify previously unintentional but valid hazards, some quite humorous, such as this gentleman on a forklift whose hairstyle makes it impossible for his safety hat to be harnessed snugly on his head. We have designed the area to be non-linear so that a group of students can learn at their own pace but also converse with their peers and visually see what others are noticing. At the end of the simulation, which is defined by the instructor, the students can click on a special display in the warehouse to see how many hazards he or she has successfully identified. This simulation is a great interaction tool that helps the instructor teach the students proper safety awareness in a fun and challenging environment through hand and eye coordination, spatial recognition, critical problem solving, and attention to detail.